color of your skin, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask yourself, who taught you? Yo, 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 yo. It is Tuesday night. It is Juneteenth in America. And if we don't celebrate it, no one else will celebrate it. So I always think that's a good place to start off at. It's a little later than I usually do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Juneteenth, also known as Juneteenth Independence Day, is an American holiday that commemorates the June 19th, 1865 announcement of the Abala, Abala, Ab, excuse me, the abolition of slavery in the United States of Texas. Uh, basically, it had been declared in other states, but some of the southern states trying to get a another harvest season did not inform the slaves. And this is when that all those other states recognized that slavery was over. And just like they put flags on your on your desk and want you to celebrate Fourth of July, which is coming up, which I don't celebrate. And I don't know why any black person is celebrating it. But, you know, to each his own. Juneteenth is a day that we should probably be celebrating, which we don't celebrate. So that's probably all going to tie into our Thursday show when we get around to doing it. I'll let you know what that topic's going to be tomorrow. But we're going to get right into our stories for the day, our news for the day. Extension. I don't know much about this guy. I just saw it on my niece's page. And all the young folks are upset. And then there was a video he released talking about his death. Uh, he was 20 years old. He was gunned down yesterday in a parent robbery I don't know you know we we were in the Tupac and he had that same type of personality that was always forecasting death and sometimes the your your tongue can make those things come true if you're always out there with that type of talk just as with Tupac I don't know this young man, but it's, it's a tragedy that so many of our young people are so caught up in disillusion in the world. Even if they get money and things like that, their their souls are are tortured to such a degree that I, I believe they they know they're being used to a certain degree, and and there's a lot of hopelessness, and they share that hopelessness hopelessness with others. And it becomes a lifestyle. So rest in peace to that young man. I uh, got a lot of Jay-Z news today. Uh, let's start off with he's got something going on with the siblings of Prince with his tidal wave thing. They are accusing Jay-Z and Beyonce of cooking the books, basically switching the numbers up on their title platform, which allowed them to get more royalty money, I guess, based upon however this record business goes. Uh, of course, Jay-Z and Beyonce have denied it, and the burden of proof is not on them, but on those that are making the claims. I don't know what Prince Sibylins are into. Uh, I guess the deal they had was that Prince's music, the unreleased music, would be streamed for 14 days only on Tidal. And they would get those proceeds and then everything else would go to the estate of Prince. So that's a hot mess that 
and it's still hard to believe that Prince did not have his papers in order. In other Jay-Z news, he is teaming up with uh, Puma. I, we, you know, Puma was pretty big back in the, in the 80s. Uh, and while Nike and uh, Adidas went more into the sports arena, Puma was more like a walking cross trainer type of shoe. And uh, basically they're t- teaming up with Jay-Z. They, they want to get a piece of that market too. You know, they, they realize that his Rock Nation has a lot of uh, NBA players, uh, rap stars, singers under his umbrella. And this is the beautiful thing about when you get your shit together outside of these people and they have to come deal with you, then you do have terms to deal with. So congrats to Jay-Z on, on that. He, him and Beyonce also dropped their new uh, video that they filmed in the Lou, which I believe is in Paris. It houses the Mona Lisa and so many other paintings. I saw the video. Video was decent, you know. They they filmed it all inside the the, the Lou Museum, and I'm sure they spent a the big penny on that, and they dropped it unannounced to anyone else. A lot of people tried to make some speculations because Nas, Nazir, dropped his album at the same time. And was there something going on? But Nas came out and said, no, he's happy for Beyonce and and Jay. And, you know, it's, it's nothing to that. In other news, uh, Suge Knight, mother, had passed away and he is being denied uh, an opportunity to go to the funeral because that's reserved for certain other types of prisoners. Uh, he's actually involved in a uh, a case, murder case, where someone died. And when you're involved in a murder case, apparently you do not get those same privileges as, as other prisoners. Um, so they messed up with a lot of people. It's just just... Or is it something else? I mean, it's the man's mama. I, I can understand for other, other things, maybe. But for a, a mother, you would think that they would make some type of concession. And and finally, we want to talk about this immig- immigration stuff and separating the children from the parents. Everybody's got an opinion on it. We as black folks, and and it what what kills me, uh, I think this was one of the representatives coming. He was making this this plea to the Senate. Oh, this is horrible, and we can't allow this to happen to these kids. And it, and and this is what's really been disturbing me about black folks. We want to take up everybody's issue. We want to show how. We are so caring. I don't hear you speaking up about nobody's position if you're not speaking up about black positions. If you're not speaking about reparations, shut up. Yeah, terrible what's happened to these people. But you know what's more terrible? What happened to us? What's happening to us and who's doing it to us? We don't have time for this. You know, okay, the kids in concentration camp, they was in Mexico on their own land, you know, is it right? No, it's the more question. Yes, it is. But we we don't have time for that. What what do we get out of that? All all you do is get your agenda pushed back, and they go forward with a new agenda. Just like the last twelve years with the the, the gay lesbian agenda, they've made more progress in twelve years than we made in the hundred and fifty years. Black people really need to stop. Look at what's happening to us. Don't be so gung-ho to jump on everything else because nobody's nobody's jumping on your bandwagon. Nobody's helping you get what you deserve. Stop it. You know, CNN, they're putting the the videos out all morning. Oh, look look how sad this is. I want to go with my mama. Can I go with my auntie? Where's my daddy? 
did we get to stay in that shit doing slavery? Slavery was, was sac- sanctioned by your government. So I, I really don't have time for that. Yeah, too, uh, too bad, so sad. Uh, and you can put that in line right behind the black agenda like so many other things. So tonight's show, it's about 10 minutes like always. I just want to uh, run all that through. Be careful out there in these Chicago streets. People are shooting, acting a fool. I had a little cousin get shot uh, Father's Day morning. God bless that she was only slightly injured in the hand. And the young man, she was, was injured in the leg. But we had, what, 17 shootings in Chicago on Father's Day? And, you know, uh, we got to figure out a way to deal with that. We can't deal with each other if we're killing each other. So we're we're going to continue to to look for solutions if anyone wants to call us or better yet, send us an email. We can be breached at the show, 1965 at yahoo.com. The show at 1965 at yahoo.com. And until Thursday, love, peace. So, we is out of here. Step out of the car. No, you don't have the right. Step out of the car. You do not have the right to do that. I do have the right. Now step out or I will remove you. I refuse to talk to you other than to identify myself.